How do I search for items in WorldCat? Advanced features and tricks. In this video, we will cover four advanced search tricks that will expand users' search options in WorldCat. These include using the advanced search screen in WorldCat, searching with subject headings in WorldCat, how to use Boolean operators in WorldCat, and how to browse a virtual shelf of books in WorldCat to find related items. One of the best ways to begin improving your WorldCat search skills is by learning about the advanced search screen. While the basic interface of WorldCat will allow users to enter keyword terms and narrow results by where the item is held, date of publication, formats such as book, ebook, object, or video, content type, subject, language, or author, Users have even greater control over their search when using the Advanced Search screen. In the Advanced Search interface, users may enter their keywords into separate boxes and add more boxes if needed by clicking Add a Row. Advanced Search allows users to choose where their search terms will be found by using the Search Index pull-down menu. For instance, using the pull-down menu next to the search box and changing the search to Title will tell the database to only return the results that include that term in the title of the work, while all the other terms are found as keyword search terms anywhere else in the item record. By searching for Middle East in the title of the work and feminism in the keyword index search fields, this search finds 987 books and videos. If we change the search index pull-down menu from title to keyword and continue to search for the terms feminism in the keyword field, you will see that our search results change from 987 to 5,885 items because the database is allowed to search a greater number of locations within the item records. Let's talk about how locating subject terms in WorldCat can help you improve your search results. Subject terms are words and phrases used within a database to identify significant concepts featured in a work. They are kind of like social media hashtags that lead you to related works on that topic. When you locate a book that seems particularly helpful, click on the title to access a more detailed description of the book. Librarians call this the item record. The subject terms associated with the work will be listed underneath the book description and the table of contents. While you may click on a term to initiate a search and find a list of results that contain that search term, we recommend that you create a list of search terms you find and plan to use those to construct a search using Advanced Search. In Advanced Search, you can enter the subject terms into each of the boxes and then change the pull-down menu next to each term to designate where the term should be found. In this search, I'm searching for each of my keyword terms in the subject field of the item record. This provides a limited number of results, but at least I know that all of these works are significantly about those exact terms. Learning to use Boolean operators in WorldCat provides a great level of control and power over the search results. For those unfamiliar with Boolean operators, stay tuned for a quick lesson. If you are familiar with Boolean operators, however, skip past this quick primer section of this video. Boolean search operators are able to be used in almost every database available through McCain Library. So let's take a moment and help you become more familiar with Boolean operators and how they can be useful to your search. The three Boolean operators are and or, and not. These terms are placed between keywords to instruct the database on how to handle those keywords. Using the Boolean operator AND between two or more terms will require that each of those terms be found in each item in the results. This is great for combining different concepts that you know you want to include in the results. Using the operator AND also narrows the results since each keyword must be found in the item record. Using the Boolean operator OR between two or more terms will tell the database to return items in the results that have any of those terms. This is great for searches where there are many different types of terms that could be used to retrieve information on a topic. Using the operator OR always expands the results since it provides more options for keywords that may be used to retrieve the results. Finally, using the Boolean operator NOT before a term will tell the database not to include any items in the search results that include that term. This is great for searches where the term may be strongly associated with more than one concept, but only one concept is relevant to the search. Note that the operator NOT is rarely used in searching because it can eliminate relevant results if not used carefully. To build your skills with Boolean search operators, set up an appointment with a librarian using the Research Appointment button on the library homepage. 
A librarian would love to work with you one-on-one -on -one until you feel confident in your Boolean search skills. Here are some tips for using Boolean search operators in WorldCat. The most important thing for you to know is that WorldCat requires that Boolean operators are always capitalized. While Boolean operators may be used in the initial search screen of WorldCat, using the Boolean operator OR and the Boolean operator AND together in the same search is most effective if you know how to construct a nested search using parentheses. Advanced Search is a much easier way to use Boolean operators since it provides boxes to nest your search terms by concept. In constructing your Boolean search in Advanced Search, you may be tempted to change the operator pull-down menu at the front of each row to OR, but this is a bad idea until you're highly skilled with Boolean operators. Instead, use the operator OR in the search box. See how powerful this search is? It makes sure that WorldCat finds results that include the three main concepts of women, Middle East, and the specific characteristics of this group, but it also provides WorldCat with acceptable alternative terms for retrieving the results in each of these three concepts. An underrated search technique in WorldCat is browsing the shelf. All books in libraries are located next to other books that are similar in some way. For any item held by Agnes Scott College, WorldCat provides an option to browse a shelf. Simply locate a book held by Agnes Scott College McCain Library, click on the title to get the item record, and scroll to the bottom of the page to browse the shelf section. A gallery box will appear that allows you to see books owned by McCain Library that have a call number that is either before or after the work that you found. Use the arrows on either side of the box to see additional books on that shelf. We hope this helped you learn about WorldCat. If you have more questions, simply email us, use our chat widget, or schedule a research appointment with a librarian. Have a great day!